look at the gluteal muscles and we have our superficial muscle, we have our medial gluteal, and then we have that deep gluteal. And so a lot of times um, if you work on one, then you're working on the other. So the deeper you get, we can really open up his muscles and release um, some of his issues. So I'm gonna use this noggle because he is a little tighter and he's also strong in his hind end. And so um, it's easier if I use this noggle, which is a, a deep pressure tool. Looks like a doorknob. That's it. So we're working on those gluteal muscles, just trying to release this area. Get him to be able to really come underneath himself and perform better. That's it. Good boy. Oh, yeah. And I see a decent amount of hip circulation going on in his back, which is good. I had a feeling that if we worked on his hind end, we release some of the back muscles as well. And so you can see him moving sort of back and forth, back and forth. There we go. Don't want to get that stuck on there. Want to be safe. <laughs> so there we go. We're just going to put some pressure there. Hold. Good boy. That's it. Just release that area. Already softening up his muscles. Super. Right in there. We found another one. Oh, yes. You see how he's moving back and forth into it? He's doing that. I'm not asking him to do any of that. Um, he just knows how to release himself. So. That's great. There we go. Release those superficial and medial and deep gluteal muscles. That's so good. You're doing a great job, buddy. So now we're going to go down here and we have our semitendinosus muscle. And that's part of your hamstring muscles. And those um, flex the hock and the hip. So they're very important. Also, he has been, he's shown a little bit of tension in his evaluation in his hamstring muscles. So I really wanna just release all of that so that he can flex his um, leg joints way better and his hind end can come underneath himself. So I'm gonna do this semimembranosus, which is the muscle around the tail. It aligns the tail. And if we release that area, a lot of times we can release these upper muscles, we can release muscles in the back, all those kinds of things. There we go. So again, I'm not moving him side to side. He is relaxed and enjoying himself. Very happy with the work that I'm doing. And you also can see that he's dropping his uh, penis and that is clearly a sign of relaxation. It does not mean like a sexual thing for them. Um, it's just, it's a feeling of relaxation. So not inappropriate. There we go. So I'm still working on that semimembranosus coming down that back leg. And I'm going to work on the semitendinosus. Release some of those muscles in the hip area and the haunches. There we go. Yep. There we go. Good boy. Good boy. So then we're also in this tensor fascia latte muscle, right? We have it here. And he's stepping into me because he's saying, please keep going. 
And then we also have the biceps femoris muscle that comes down here. And we also have the quad muscles right here. So we just wanna give some real good relaxation there and loosen up that junk. And that's what we're doing, right? And then we're working into that. Oh, no, you don't. We're working into the stifle area, which is our knee, the human knee. So when we're going into this quad area, we got to be pretty careful because this is a very sensitive area of the horse. So I really watch myself. I make sure I'm on the side of him um, because he could easily kick me if he really wanted to. Or he could just pick up his leg and I could be in the wrong spot at the right time to, uh, you know, have some issues. So I'm going to work in this quad area, release some of this junk in here and I found some tension in the knee so this area around here so I want to release those tendons and ligaments there we go buddy because it feels a little crunchy to me so I really want to get some blood flowing in that area so he can feel better That's a good boy. And now I'm going into that inner thigh area where your sartorius is. And then we also have the gracilis muscle, which is that big bulge. Some horses have really strong gracilis muscles. Oh, you're such a good boy. You're such a good boy. And then we go down into that deep flexor muscle and that comes down the leg and it connects to that um, deep flexor tendon. So I like to really just check those out, make sure they're nice and soft, not too tight back here. So I'm working on that as well. And I'm just gonna stretch a little bit that inner thigh and he's like, oh baby. Oh, baby. So again, I have to watch that leg. If you don't watch it, you're sort of stuck. That's it. Now he's not in going to intentionally kick me. Um, it's just more like, oh, I gotta stretch that leg out. Yeah, you're a good boy. Totally, you're doing great. You're doing great. So all this work is releasing these hamstring muscles and the quad muscles and connecting down into your stifle area in your, um, your leg muscles. <laughs> Get some blood flowing in that area. Okay, I'm gonna check up here again. A little bit more, a little deeper there. That's it. That's it. Yep. Move with it. Good boy. Good boy. You're such a good boy. Yes, you are. And there we get a yawn. Very good yawn. You want some real gonna hold that pressure and how I hold it is pretty much lean into the horse good boy good boy and there we go yeah definitely getting a little softer up in here Let's see if we can find any more there we go oh he does Definitely likes his hamstrings being worked on. I like to do that kind of cross fiber friction with the hamstrings. You see how I'm going back and forth? There you go. There you go. Oh, it's a good boy. Yes. So that Gaskin is a little, uh, a little sore, a little sore there. Yeah. Mop, mop, mop. There we go. So I'm just going to hold that until he relaxes his leg. 
And there we go. So now he's fully standing on that leg, so it's super good. And there we have it. As a wrap up, this is Mel Hitchcock with Mel's Equestrian Services. I love to help you and your horse succeed through equine massage, professional body clipping, and dressage training. You can find me on my website at melsequestrianservices.com as well as Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube at Mel's Equestrian Services. I hope you take a look and have a wonderful day.